It's Oscar Sunday and we are live. It's Oscar season and you've probably heard that in the future the Academy will impose new rules for eligibility surrounding diversity and inclusion. We are saying that women are of value People of color are of value. New inclusion standards say all films must meet certain criteria like having a lead actor from an underrepresented group or 30% of secondary actors. The descriptions go on and on. Anyone and everyone who is on that list of marginalized groups that are now going to be represented are cheering. Not everyone. If the work is good, it doesn't matter if it's exclusively black people working on it, exclusively white, Asian, none of that should even matter. Musician Eric July says quotas cheapen awards. It's supposed to be based on merit, you'd think. That's what the awards are for. And at least one actor publicly voiced skepticism. It's about exclusion. But so many in Hollywood love the new rules. I think it's one of the bravest and most amazing things that the academy has done no it's not it really basically turns the award into nothing they feel sorry for you so they're gonna let's say give you an award but there has been discrimination black movies do well but the awards shows historically haven't given out the same number of awards some movies are better than others <laughs> The 100 meter dash right now, top 10, like all of them are gonna be black people. That doesn't necessarily mean that there's some sort of, of, of wrongdoing. What about the legacy of American racism? Of course it's a thing. You can't say that it isn't. But this battle was already fought and won. For whatever reason, at some point, I don't know if it was in the 2010s or what have you, we went off a cliff to where now it's we're talking as if there's a Klansman behind every single uh, corner preventing people from being great. Good point. Wakanda forever! Black actors have achieved great success in Hollywood. In fact, America's all-time highest grossing actor is Samuel L. Jackson. Want to see my lease? But at Oscar shows, facts matter less than supporting the right causes. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. But women have equal rights. And there's no wage gap if you look at job choices. We're not in the room. We are not in the room. It's good to have more diversity. It's a systematic bias that needs to be addressed. But there's one kind of diversity they never talk about. Diversity of thought. When it comes to political slant, they certainly won't put any of these rules in there. I mean, we're not going to see new rules that say there have to be a certain number of Republicans and libertarians working on your project? No. When I was a young reporter, I confronted businesses. We Thanks are not ripping that. people off. By criticizing capitalists, I won 19 Emmys. But I won no awards once I started criticizing government. So I'm going to fire really whoever scheduled this interview. It is now my distinct pleasure. Awards celebrate people who want big intrusive government. To present the 2020 International Emmy Founders Award to Governor Andrew Cuomo. That award was supposed to be for TV production, but the Emmys made an exception for Governor Cuomo. Thank you to all the members of the Academy. Cuomo got an Emmy for holding news conferences in which he claimed they offered only one thing, authentic truth. Truth? Turned out Cuomo underreported deaths by up to 50 percent. His top aide telling Democratic lawmakers, we froze, concerned that the information was going to be used against us. Don't ex expect the governor of Florida to actually get one of those awards. But if your politics are right, you can win awards even if your work doesn't exactly fit the category. The Grammy Awards are for music, but... Barack Obama has won a Grammy. And guess who he beat out? Former President Clinton and also former President Carter. Jimmy Carter's won a lot. Mr. Carter now has more Grammys than Katy Perry, what? Nicki Minaj, and Blake Shelton. Hillary Clinton won too. I didn't even know that people who couldn't sing a note were eligible for any Grammys. Over the past 20 years, Democrats have been nominated 19 times. Republicans, never. This is why a lot of these awards just shouldn't even be seen as legitimate on that alone. These award shows aren't about recognizing what's best. They're about pleasing the left. You have a solution? Thanks to social media, we have a straight line of sight these days with a lot of our fan bases. So today, people like Eric July and even I can release content that goes directly to you. 
July's debut album sold 3,000 copies its first week, thanks to the internet. Hollywood's award shows are just less important than ever. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click that button to help us make more.